So I got a question from a subscriber on the YouTube channel. And the question was for the PlayStation. If you guys remember, I did the, the video um, for the Imcaster, the, uh, the, the Mackie Imcaster Studio, which I'm using right now. Everything you're hearing, the microphone and everything, and the game that you guys are going to hear, it's all, well, not the game. But the microphone is, is coming through the Imcaster Studio right now. This is what you're listening to. This is my new audio interface for my desktop. I'm, this is what I'm using. So... The question that someone had, uh, uh, Carl S. Um, on my YouTube channel, he asked, hello, will this work with uh, PS5? Um, I'm looking for an audio uh, interface to use with XLR mics and the PS5, thanks. Now, I, I un you know, what's really, what's really funny about this is that I kind of had the same question. I was like, how... Um, you know, all the new, all the new next gen, the, the, the PlayStation, I've got the PlayStation right here. Um, I, you know, I've got the, I've got the, uh, my Xbox series X in here in the studio. Um, I even have my, I even have my, it's a little dusty, but I even have my switch in here that, you know, when we do the Mario Kart nights, my switch is right here. But tonight, um, we are going to be playing the PlayStation. We are going to be playing a PlayStation game and this, I think a great way to answer this question and then put, you know, and show whether this works or not is to let, you know what, let's try it live. Let's see if we can uh, make, take the PS5, because here's the thing, the next gen, all these next gen systems, they got rid of the audio out. They don't have any audio out. They don't have... Um, I mean, I think even the, the, the older systems, they still had like what you would call like a proprietary an, uh, adapter to like, you know, the Sega Genesis, or if you look back there, you know, my old systems, um, I think even up to, <coughs> I want to say even up to, um, I don't know, I don't know when they got rid of it, but they at least had optical out, like optical audio, so you could still get digital audio through the optical ports. Well, these new um, these new consoles don't even have optical out. Uh, there's no audio out. And remember, if you remember, like if you look, if you think about like uh, Mario's or, or uh, Nintendo 64, um, or or the GameCube or Dreamcast, they had a a, a, a you know a proprietary. Uh, we would call an adapter that plugged into the back of the system. But at the end, at the end of those systems were your basic cords, usually RCA cords. Uh, there was usually yellow for video and then red and white for the audio. And that would go into your TV. Most of the times it would go into your TV. And I just got a new TV. Um, here's another thing. So you guys know, I just got a new TV. It's back there in the corner. You can kind of see the top of it back there. No audio, no audio ports. It's only HDMI. There is an optical port. There is still an optical port, but there's no like RCA jack or inputs or anything. So it, this is the future, right? This is the future. However, um, it would be really cool, right? If you had, if you were able to take your current consoles, like say the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5, which we're going to play tonight, and run that through the MCaster to be able to control the volume based on whatever input. But again, there is no output to go out of these consoles and into the MCaster um, other than HDMI, and there is no HDMI input. So, uh, uh, so how I have it work is I have the PlayStation 5 go into a uh, AverMedia capture, capture device. That's what, brings it into, um, that's what brings it into the screen here. That's, why, that's how you see PlayStation here. And that's also how... Oh, now... We, as you know, we were having problems with the PlayStation audio kind of like tripping out a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I'm running, um, hello, uh, Megan. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm running the audio, um, through uh, a digital router so that we don't have to worry about that. It, the digital router picks up the audio fine and then I can run that into the, and run that into the, um, the stream and we, you know, we can bypass PlayStation's problems, whatever they are. However, that doesn't give me any control. That only gives me control to OBS. I can only control the volume of, of the consoles through either going through my digital audio router or going through OBS and 
making the volume, you know, up and down, it is a lot of, uh, it's not that bad. Um, so the why uh, Hammershot says, uh, to those who are uh, going to be watching this on YouTube, my good buddy Hammershot says, sounds like a lot of wires. It kind of is, but not really it's because the digital audio, um, the digital audio router that I use, uh, that's called, um, wait, what is it called? Um, a loop back is what I use. And you know, I'm all Mac. Um, it lets me put all the de devices in there. So it's all on screen. I don't have to, you know, but there is a P the PS five has a HDMI that goes into the captured device and then two wires come out one that goes into the screen, right? One that goes into the screen so I can, uh, see, uh, what I'm playing. And then, um, one that goes, uh, into the computer so we could see it on in OBS like we see it now. So the trick though is how do we get the audio to where we can control it on the Imcaster mixer, which I have right here. You can't see it's off camera, but it's it's right here. So so what I did was I bought something and we're I, you know I like doing these videos where I unbox it and set it up on video. And and every video that I've done, I'm telling it's uh, you know, full disclosure, it is like, I am not, there's no trickery. I am really unboxing, unboxing it and setting it up in real time on that video. So everything is, you know, edited, but sure it's edited, but it's actually real time. Uh, same, like when I set this Imcaster studio up, I had never tested anything out. So when I was filming it, I was doing a lot of that stuff for the first time, but I still had to at least figure out what to do if I was going to be able to talk to it or speak to it. This is the device that I just bought. So we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do before we play. We're gonna set this up to see if this is the solution that the subscriber is looking for. And uh, either way, whether it is or not, we're gonna throw this up on YouTube. So we kinda, you know, two birds with one stone. Or one Frank with two cookies. Four cookies, six cookies. Anyway, all right, let's open this and I'll show you what this is. I'll show you what this is, all right? All right, so, hey, thanks for the resub, Stocky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so in the box comes a few things. In the box comes, oh, it comes, look at that. It comes with an extra HDMI cable, so that's good. Comes with an extra HDMI cable, so I don't have to go find another HDMI cable because I am going to need an extra one with this device. Um, this is an audio cable, but this is not going to be, this is not going to work for what I need it for. This is... This is TRS or whatever to, um, to RCA. But the back of this, I need a stereo um, one eighth plug, to, stereo one eighth plug, which I have. I have, um, I have that. So we'll, we'll go grab that in a second. Here's a USB cable. Here's a USB cable. Not sure why I would need this. Um, why would I need a USB cable? Let's see what it says. Here's the user manual. What's the USB cable for? This is a terrible user manual. It doesn't really say a lot. Now, I got this on Amazon. Uh, okay, so let's see. HDMI. Oh, it's probably, maybe the USB is to power it, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, USB. The USB is to power it, which is fine. I have a plug down there that I can plug this into. Okay, so let's, let's open this. This is the device here. So here's my theory. This is my theory. My theory is... Okay, so as you can see, uh, let's see if we can get that in there. The light hits it. We got HDMI, um, and uh, I believe you see the USB port. So we have HDMI, and then there's also a switch that goes from 5.1 surround, two-channel stereo, and then pass. So I guess the pass would be the audio through. I don't know, maybe, for the audio. So, um, and then on the back, we have... We have the HDMI out, so the, yeah, it's like a splitter, but it split, I think the theory I have is that this will split the audio as well, so we can run the audio out of this and into this, into one of the channels of the Imcaster Studio Pro. So what I need to do is I need to go um, grab a stereo cable ahead, because this isn't gonna work. Um, I don't have, um, I don't think I have, no, there are no RS, there are no RCA uh, ports on the back of this. So let me go grab a stereo to stereo 
Let me see if I have one in the drawer here. Here is, that's not what I need. Uh, let's see. All right, I know where I have one. All right. So give me a second. I'm going to go grab the cable, and we're going to put this together to see if it's going to work. Now, as you see, the PlayStation is currently on, so we will have to disconnect this, but we still have to run it back through, because here's another thing that I'm worried about. I'm worried about, uh, and this is problems that I've run into before when trying to kind of daisy chain things. Once the consoles go into a, a splitter, um, it doesn't send a strong enough signal out to the video capture device. Now, this was a few years ago that I tried this. I would say maybe probably about five years ago that I tried this and there was some problems. Maybe they've gotten better. I kind of doubt it. This is just something low cost that I got on Amazon. But let me go, uh, let me, give me a second. Let me go find a um, audio cable and then, because uh, that's all I need. Oh, and then, wait. I have... Uh, let's see. I need a USB plug. Oh, I have a USB right here. Okay, so I've got a plug. This is what I'll use. Um, this is what I'll use to plug it, the USB in to power the device. So this is easy. That's 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 solved right there. So let me go. Let me go over there and see. I'm pretty sure I've got like a stereo cable over there. Hold on. Okay, found it. All right, so I've got I've got the audio cable here. So this should get us the audio from this um, into the mixer. So you know what? Let's just plug this in now. This is uh, says audio out, and then this is HDMI out. So um, if we look on the back of the mixer. Let's see, let's do uh, instrument, computer, let's do computer. That's phone. There we go. Uh, the HDMI cables now um, carry both um, audio and video now. It used to be back in the day it was just audio, but now the HDMI has upgraded over the years. It can now carry uh, the data for audio and video, so you only need one cable. However, this MCaster Studio does not have HDMI in. Um, and, and you know what the thing is, too, is I did, a re I did some research and tried to look for devices that had uh, HD... Like, there's no mixer for HDMI in nothing that like is you know reasonably priced you don't there's nothing that has HDMI in and then you have volume you know control for it it's not really a lot other than like a, a stereo mixer you know like your your regular TV mixer that you would have for you know uh, which I'm totally like I used to I used to be all about getting stereo receivers uh, you know and change the HDMI and having control over the volume those are days long gone as a matter of fact in a few weeks, I'm going to be trying something new that I've never done before, and I may make a video um, on my personal channel once it gets here and set it up. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's let's um, have a plug right down here. So let's power this thing up and see. Um, so let's take the USB cable. I have a pl I have a plug open right here. Um, I found another one that I'm going to use. All right, so let's plug in the USB here. And the uh, USB plug goes here. I could plug that in right down there. And let's see, we'll see if we get some power here. That goes there. So we're. Are Oh, was it? Okay. All right. So let's try this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So I'm plugging this in now.
Got an open plug right here by the desk. All right, so we have we have a light. So we have a light, so it looks like we've got power, so that's good. So now what we got to do is we got to disconnect the HDMI from that. And the audio should come through here. So here's the trick. Um, all the keys mute. <laughs> he might not be wrong, five. All, uh, Schmoopy, hello. Five says all the keys mute my mic. He might not be wrong. You never know when I might need to accidentally mute my mic and I need to just be ready. Bam! It doesn't matter. No, no, there, there are literally, there's literally one key that mutes this mic and for some reason that device hit it. I, I don't know. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna see something. Okay, so that mutes the desktop audio, but my mic is still working, so that's good. This should mute my mic, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna keep talking, but it should mute my mic. All right, there we go, so we're back, okay. All right, so. Okay, so here's the HDMI cable. So this means we need to run the HDMI from the PlayStation into this device and then this into the capture device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this screen here and we'll keep this screen up so when I disconnect the HDMI, that should go, it, you should get a, you should see a, a, a thing that says like no, um, no input or something like that. I forget what it says. All right. I don't know if this HDMI cable is any good. I think this HDMI cable might be kind of cheap, but we'll try it anyway. We'll just try it for now. Um, I'm going to disconnect the HDMI for the PlayStation. So you're going to see this screen go whatever. And then um, I'm going to plug... Let's see, so HDMI out, is this out? No, this is HDMI in. So the PlayStation will go here. So hold on, let me go grab the HDMI for the PlayStation. Okay, let's see, oh look. Oh, okay, we got, we got the video back. The video is back. So, so far, so good. I'm awake. I took a cat nap early for energy. That was very smart. Uh-oh. We don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now we do have a signal. All right. So, this is already problematic. This is already prob problematic. Um, okay. So, the, the sound that you hear is... Oh, wait. That's actually true. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The sound that you hear is coming from the desktop audio. What I need the sound to come through, I need the sound to come through the Imcaster. So I'm going to mute the desktop audio so you should not hear the game right now. And instead, I'm going to turn the volume up on the desktop audio to see if we have anything. And it doesn't appear that we do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I think we do have audio. Hold on, let me put on, uh, let me put on my headset here. Hold on. Wait. All right, so hold on. Let me mute. Let me go to my router and make sure I'm not getting fooled here because I could be, I am getting, I think I'm getting the audio from the actual digital router. So let me mute this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to mute. I don't want to. Okay, so that's muted. And I'm going to unmute my Imcaster Studio so I hear my mic. Oh, it works. It totally works. Okay, it's a little low, but it totally works. I have to turn it up pretty loud. All right, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's, uh, let's test it out. I'm not going to use this setup. I'm not going to use it this way, but let's test it out to see if we play the game, if you guys can hear the sound. I think it's kind of low, but... Um, let's see, Live Gamer, Mcaster Studios turned all the way up in the router and my digital router loop back. Okay, so you guys let me know if you can hear the game. Hey, lovely Zybar. Um, oh no, I don't want to enter rest mode. I can hear this, by the way. I can totally hear this. I can hear the game everything. Uh, let's see.
What? What are you talking about? Oh, oh. Um, there we go. Um, oh, okay. So it's giving me options now to just, uh, because I have a new thing. But here's the thing. This works. This totally works. So we have video. We do have the video. So let's see if we can get the audio in the game. Now, I do, again, I do have to have the volume all the way up. But it sounds crystal clear. Like, it sounds really good. So I'm going to resume activity, and then you guys tell me. You hear the game? Sounds pretty good, yeah? Oh, the door closed. We're good! So we just answered a subscriber's question live. How awesome is that? We just put this together live. What better way, what better way to show someone if something works or not by putting it together live and answering their question. That's awesome. 